How we doing? It's USPS Nick, and today I'm going to talk about 10, 10 tips for time management when you're carrying. Uh, the first tip, um, flip the DPS mail. So before you leave, before, yeah, clear. So before you leave the station, uh, before you leave the office, uh, look at where each relay starts on your case, and then look through your DPS and flip that up. So uh, obviously the first. Uh, in the first tray, the the first uh, the first mails for the first relay, and then uh, then dig through or uh, finger through and look for the where the second relay starts. Like on your case, if you see oh John Avenue, look for that uh, or the specific a address number. Then John Avenue, you look through it. Okay, boom, flip that card up so you could just grab and go, and then do that for all your DPS. If you have two trays, five trays, uh, you'll be able to just grab and go instead of fingering while you're out on the street. Might as well just do it while you're uh, in the office, get everything set for you. Um, tip number two, uh, case in your small packages. So uh, this helps out a lot and uh, you're not, because I noticed with little packages, uh, I miss them a lot if I don't case them in. If I don't have enough time to case them in, then uh, Sometimes they'll get lost under something. So I like to case them in so it's in my cased mail ready to go. And I don't have to worry about uh, that package in my, uh, especially if it's really thin, like it's beautiful when you could just case it right in. But uh, especially when you have a third bundle or like ad papers or something, that's one less package you got to worry about and you still have it in your arm, uh, cased in and order ready to go. Uh, so yeah, definitely what I do is I load all my all my packages in my truck. And then uh, put to the side the little packages that I think I can case in. Uh, some I think I can case in, but I can't fit in my case or it doesn't bend or whatever. So I'll just put it back in the truck. But uh, I'll load my packages that I can't case in first. And then I'll uh, then when I'm done, I case in my little packages. And uh, I feel like that is definitely a, definitely a time saver for sure. And then uh, one last package to worry about because it's all ready to go. So uh, number three, uh, number your packages. If you have time, like sometimes you don't have time to number all your packages, but you can see by relay, you can number it. So if all the numbers are one, if the package has a one on it, you know, that's going to be your first relay. If it has number 10, it is your 10th relay. So you don't have to think about it and look at the address and like, oh, is this the first half of, uh, is this the first half of, uh, this address and then the second half of uh because uh some some relays will have the same address but uh, or the same street but uh all like 6700 or then 6800s for the other relay so uh so you don't want to have to be fiddling with that uh number four eat as you go and i'm not saying if you're on if you're on a busy street like stuffing funyuns in your face but uh if you're at like a cluster box or something like that's why I talked in my other video about uh, about uh, food like easy food like granola bars and peanut butter and jelly so you can eat it like if you're at a cluster box you could be eating as you're uh, as you're working and uh, you don't have to take that like long of a break or not even a break at all sometimes you could because you're already eaten and uh, it slows you down a lot so uh, eat as you go find a quick time to eat uh and something easy to something easy to eat like granola bar or something uh number five uh cut through the lawns uh when it's snowing it's kind of harder to cut through uh all that snow but uh now that it's spring all the snow is melted you can cut through lawns but uh make sure you watch where you're going when you're fingering mail watch where you're going because uh i was doing a route yesterday where i was about to cut through some bushes and i seen like a it looked like it looked fake. It was a snake coiled up and I'm like, that looks fake. And I was about to step like kind of near it. And I'm like, okay, that thing's real. <laughs> and stuff hissing. So, uh, so yeah, be careful, like be mindful animals. I don't know where you live, but, uh, where I live and where I deliver, there's snakes, spiders, uh, things like that. So always spiders in the mailbox, uh, which, uh, can freak you out. So, uh, so just, uh, be mindful of that, be uh, cautious on animals and, but cutting through lawns, uh, like when I was doing, when it was snow, when there was snow on the ground, I'd finish routes at six. But now that uh, there's no snow on the ground, I get done by three. So like that just shows you like hours difference. Um, 
Number six, fit as many packages in your satchel as possible. Now, I know I said uh, case in the small ones, but if you got bigger ones, if they're like really big Amazon packages, you can't put them in your satchel. You're going to have to deliver it afterwards. I usually... Uh, I usually do it after every like two or three relays, depending on how the route goes. If the if the route if the relays are right next to each other, then I'll just wait uh, two or three relays, deliver all the mail, and then deliver the packages all at once. So I'm not getting in out of my car and out of my truck. So uh, yeah, um, just fit as much in there as possible. Uh, if you could, and then fit them in order, so uh, you're not getting stumbled by them, and uh, make sure you put them in order in your satchel. Uh, when they're smaller and uh, if I do one relay and all of them fit in my bag, it's like the best feeling in the world. Like you're like, perfect. I don't have to drop off any packages for this relay. Perfect. So, uh, so yeah, try to fit as much as you can in your bag. If you have ad papers or a third bundle, you know, it's not going to happen and you're going to have to drop off some packages and you're going to be a little later than usual. So uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, number seven, ask, ask carriers for how they run routes because in my office if somebody's off or on vacation they usually do that route as an aux route or they usually do a lot of different routes as their aux routes so they kind of know how uh those routes go so you could be like hey i'm doing route 56 like yesterday i did uh well i did two two routes basically yesterday i brought back mail unfortunately i had like a tray left but it was basically like the whole route but it was all businesses on a very busy street all businesses um and uh, I asked one of the carriers, I'm like, how do you do this route? And uh, he gave me some tips and uh, parking points and things like that. So carriers, uh, try to know who the helpful carriers are in your office because some will be very help happy to help you. Others just mind their own business. So uh, definitely don't be afraid to ask questions and uh, see how the experienced carriers run their routes or do their routes. Some, some not all run their routes, but uh, how, they, how they do the route. Um, Number eight, carry a tub. Uh, when I first started, I never carried a tub in my uh, in my LLV. Now I always keep one in because, like, the outgoing for outgoing mail. Uh, when I when I first started, there would be outgoing mail just everywhere on my tray and in, in the front, and uh, got a little like crazy. So now I always carry out a uh, tub. Just throw it in there and don't have to think about it. Uh, quick, quick little time saver. Uh, number nine. This is only if your supervisor, postmaster allows it. Mine does. Uh, if listen to some music or a podcast, only in one ear though. Like you got to be able to hear dogs and customers and trucks and cars, things like that. So uh, if if it if your postmaster allows you, definitely listen to some music because I started listening like a month ago and like my time has like been sped up like crazy because I'm just like listen to Drake, like delivering and like I'm in the zone. So, uh, or if you have a podcast that pumps you up or just enjoy listening to like, and it helps and you're not talk like sometimes like you're by yourself all day. If it's like a rainy day, uh, nobody's going to be out. So you're going to be alone and it's going to, it's going to, you're going to lose, you lose your mind. So like definitely keep that music or podcast in your mind for, uh, for your sanity. So, uh, and also like pumps you up and helps you keep going, get the blood flow and things like that. So, uh, Listening to music in one ear is uh, definitely uh, helped me with my time. And then number ten, uh, this is don't don't eat greasy foods the day before you work. Uh, I always usually eat like rice and chicken or something like that uh, on the night before I have to work, which is every night. But if I the one day I have a day off that night, I'll usually eat like a cheeseburger or something or quesadilla is at my favorite uh, quesadilla spot. Uh, because if, if you eat greasy foods the next day, you know, what goes down, you know, it's it's not good. And that'll definitely, like, hurt your time. So uh, be mindful of that. Uh, try to eat, like, healthier or else you're going to be wasting so much time in the bathroom. Uh, try to eat somewhat healthy on the nights before you have to work because uh, then your stomach's going to be all messed up. And, and if you have to go to the bathroom, you're not going to be thinking about the mail. You're going to be thinking about going to the bathroom. So, uh try to eat a little bit healthier. Um, but yeah, that's my 10, 10 tips I just came up with uh, just a few minutes ago. A, a follower of mine, she said uh, she wanted to see how time management, uh, how I uh, help with uh, or how I uh, do my routes uh, in a, an efficient time. And uh, one of my supervisors actually told me uh, I was supposed to train somebody on Amazon Sunday, but uh, 
I'm not pro master trained, but uh, he was like, uh, go with Nick. He's he's one of the one of the fastest carriers here, and uh, that was a really nice compliment, and uh, that kind of made my day. Cause, uh, but also that I'm that I'm good at my routes. He, he he's the only one who gave me two Amazon routes on Sunday. The rest did a uh, one third of a, another route. So uh, there's good and bad with everything, but I treat this as like a I treat this like fighting. Like I'm competitive. I want to be the best carrier, you know, and uh, I want them to know, hey, I'm here to work and not BS. So, uh, but yeah, uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, 10 tips. If I think of more tips, I'll definitely make another video about some more time management tips. But uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.